literally a minute away from home and then the heavens opened and the thunderstorm happened and now I look like a drowned rat. <laughs> Oh my god! So yes, this is apparently the mood of this weekly vlog. <laughs> I might as well introduce the vlog while I'm here. It's actually Tuesday because I just wanted yesterday off. I literally didn't do any reading yesterday. I just met up with a friend and then I wasted the rest of the day. This morning I wanted to be a lot more productive so I went and did some work in the Waterstones Cafe. As usual, I bet you're bored of seeing that place now. <laughs> did quite a bit of work. I very briefly started reading Only Human but I do want to read a lot more of that this evening because I want to finish it tomorrow. But it is longer than the other two were so I don't know if that will happen. Oh my god, I can't... I can't get over this. <laughs> but now that I'm home I'm actually going to subtitle tomorrow's video because I have my TBR going up. Oh my god, I don't know if you can hear the rain, I don't think you'll be able to but... <sighs> Let's just say it's not surprising that I now look like this. So yes, I'm going to subtitle that and then for the rest of the day I think I'm just going to try and read as much of Only Human as I can. <laughs> again. <laughs> now we're gonna try and do a reading which probably isn't going to work but uh, I am trying to finish this book which also is probably not going to happen because I'm only 60 pages in. And Britt what are you reading? I'm reading Alumni finally Woo. after so long. <laughs> so yeah we're gonna attempt a reading which is just literally, we're going to sit on FaceTime and read together. Um, <laughs> see how much we fail at this. <laughs> just like, okay, just going to ignore you now. to find just a dare at me. <laughs> oh my god, guys, it's not working. <laughs> Love that for us. Okay. Um, my camera's still filming, so I'm just like, well, nice content. <laughs> As you can see, this um, reading's going really well. We've both read three pages and started chatting to each other. <laughs> oh. Wait. <laughs> can you see a wild Brit? Very, very... <laughs> Hi guys, it's now a bit later on Tuesday evening and I managed to read up to page 100 in Only Human. If you haven't seen my previous vlogs then this is the third book in the Temis Files trilogy. But I really want to try and read this by tomorrow so that I can include it in my July wrap up. I don't know if that will happen because I still have 300 pages to go but I did read 300 pages in one day last week so I think it could be possible especially because I'm not really doing much tomorrow as far as I'm aware of. So we'll see how it goes. I might also read a bit more tonight but for now I'm just watching booktube. I have quite a lot that I need to catch up on and I just don't really feel like reading right now so I'm going to do that. Something exciting also happened tonight because I have booked my tickets to go and see Jay Kristoff at an event. So Jay Kristoff is the author of the Nevernight series and the event is for his final book coming out. Now I haven't read Nevernight yet but I've been really really wanting to for the longest time and I was going to wait until the final book was out in paperback but that doesn't come out until June next year. But then I saw this event and I just thought you know what just do it. Because I believe he's an Australian author so it's not like you can just pop over back to the UK at any point easily. And I've just been wanting to go to more bookish events anyway because I don't really go to that many. So I've booked my ticket, I've booked my train tickets and I'm going to be buying the first and second book in the Nevernight series so that I can hopefully try and read Nevernight in August. I don't know whether that will happen but I do want to try. I don't think I'll get round to reading the second book in time but we shall see. <laughs> and I'm just really excited to be finally getting the books. Like, I honestly feel like this was a sign because I've been debating buying them recently so often and I just haven't. So I've taken this as a sign from the bookish gods and I'm finally buying Nevernight and God's Grave. 
I'm so excited as well because I believe that Becca is also going from Becca in the Books and I won't lie, I'm very excited to meet her. <laughs> I absolutely adore Becca's videos and the amount of work she puts into them is just astounding. She's been uploading so many lately and I am just living for it so I'm very very excited to meet her. But yeah, that was an unexpected thing of this evening and I'm very excited. But yes, for now I'm going to have an evening watching booktube. <laughs> Hi guys, it's now Wednesday and it's around lunchtime. All I've done this morning is read some more of Only Human and I'm really quite disappointed guys because I'm just finding this really boring so far. I'm about halfway through and like all it's done is repeat the same like five things. <laughs> There's another planet involved which should be exciting but like it just keeps repeating like two things about it and it's just really quite boring to read about. I have zero interest in the other planet. And then when it comes to the characters because so much time has passed they've all changed quite a bit but like again it just kind of keeps repeating one trait about each of them and I'm like surely there's more to say in 200 pages. I do still hope that I can finish reading this today but I have still got about 200 and something pages so I don't know if that will happen especially because I was going to treat today like a reading day but I am actually going to go back to the Waterstones cafe again even though I was there yesterday and do some more summer research if I can because I just I'm not in a good headspace today my brain's not being very nice to me and it's really like I just can't really shake it off and and because I am by myself most of the time I really do need to keep myself busy but I've just not really had much to do. I know tomorrow I need to film my wrap up and like then I'll have videos to work on because I'll also be editing my vlog and things and I can work on August's videos as well but for now I haven't really got anything to do which is really throwing me off because I'm someone who's very work driven like I get so intense with the amount of things that I have to do and now I just feel lost because I don't have anything and then of course the day that I'm doing like nothing is also the day where mental health has kicked in and I have nothing to distract it from so I'm gonna go back to the Boat Sounds Cafe and do some work in there. I'm not going to vlog it just because I'm literally always there you've already seen it in this vlog so you're probably getting bored of seeing it now but I'll probably pop back in when I've read some more of Only Human this evening and hopefully it'll pick up some more because it's gonna be such a shame if I don't really like this one. I feel like all the series I've been reading lately, every time I get to the last book I'm just disappointed so I'm not really looking forward to this anymore but we'll see. Hi guys we're rocking the wet hair look once again but I've now finished reading Only Human. I was a bit disappointed to be fair I only rated it three stars because I just don't get the point of it. Like this book is a hundred pages longer than the other two and I feel like nothing that notable happened so I'm just confused and I found it quite boring but it was like all right I guess so I'm just I'm slightly disappointed. Maybe this is why I never usually finish series. <laughs> but me finishing this book also means that I've now completely finished the book Junkie Trials. I can't believe how well this readathon's gone. I've read 13 books. I don't know what the statistics are that I have so I don't know how many pages but I will get back to you on that in a second. But I know I've read 13 books, my wrap up is going to be absolute madness. I really hope that people give Rachel like all the acknowledgement, all the praise, all the compliments because she has just done something incredible and she is incredible. Okay so if I've counted correctly then I have read 4,588 pages this month which is just incredible. This is the most I've ever read in a month which is amazing. I was really intimidated when I started this because I don't often do readathons and now I'm doing all the readathons and I didn't even know if I'd complete the five books that I'd put on my TBR so to completely overreach that it just makes me so happy. So yeah even though my last book was a bit of a flop it's fine because the readathon definitely wasn't a flop at all. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Thursday and I have spent all of today so far just preparing to film and I filmed two videos. I filmed my wrap up which took forever and also another video which took probably just as long but <laughs> now that they're done I am going to edit my wrap up because that needs to go up tomorrow so that's all I'm really going to be doing today. I know that's not very interesting vlog content but like it needs to be done. <laughs> I don't think I will pick up another book before I start the Mythic Readathon because I was tempted to pick up one of the shorter non-fiction books that I have but 
I just think I'm gonna give myself a break from the book junkie trials and everything. Just have a few chill days and then start the Myth Take Readathon anew, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, probably not much vlog content for today. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> So I haven't done any video editing yet, mainly because I've just sent a really scary email and I've been like psyching myself up to send it for the past two hours now. If nothing happens with it then you'll probably never hear of this again and it can be forgotten. <laughs> but if something does come of it then you will find out very soon I'm sure. But oh my god, I hate sending emails, like, there's just something so intimidating about them, I feel like they're just too formal. Obviously they're needed but I just... I can't deal with it. I feel like I've sent so many like scary emails this week and I'm just like please let my heart rate return to normal. <laughs> but yes, now I'm actually going to edit my wrap up because it's long. I'm going to be working on this all day. <laughs> it's currently Saturday evening and I just thought I'd pop in and give a quick update because I think all of my updates for the past couple of days have just been like shots of what I've been doing. Yesterday I actually just went to the library before meeting Richard and I borrowed a few graphic novels because I don't want to start a full book before the Mythic Readathon starts on Monday just because I knew I wouldn't get it finished unless I was like really pushing myself and I didn't want to do that. So I actually borrowed three graphic novels which are volumes two, three and four in the Deadly Class series. I read the first volume absolutely ages ago but I just figured that I could pick up where I left off and not really have it be a problem. So far this weekend I've read volumes two and three and I'm not actually going to be reading the third one because I rated those ones two stars. It's just really not my thing. Like the series is kind of about a school of assassins and that would be fine but there's just quite a lot of things in it that are really quite vulgar or just like things I don't like reading because I'm just like that is disgusting. There's things to do with toilets and no. <laughs> but also the main character is just like oh what is me, everybody hates me, I've got such an awful life all the time. I don't want to read about it anymore so even though I could read the third one really quickly and just like bump up that Goodreads challenge really quick I just don't want to. I don't see the point in reading another book that's probably going to end up being another two star read. So I'm just not going to. So I am actually going to return those to the library on Monday I think because why not? <laughs> and one thing that I am really happy about today actually is the fact that I finally got rid of the books that I like unhauled quite a while ago. I've had this big stack of books in my bedroom just meaning to go to a charity shop for ages but I actually wanted to give them to a library because there were a lot of young adult books in there and I noticed that my library didn't really have that great a selection so I'm really hoping that 
even though the library will distribute them between places and maybe put some up for sale and things. I really hope that some do stay at that library in particular but, but up until now I was a bit unsure about whether they would actually take book donations or not because I did research it online and there was this whole section about how they were really picky about what books they accept and things like that so I just didn't really know whether I'd be able to walk in with like two bags of books and be like here take them <laughs> but I did ask yesterday when I borrowed the graphic novels and then I went back today with Richard helping me tow them all down and they seemed very happy about it so I'm glad that I finally got that done because I unhold them so long ago and it's just been building ever since so that's finally done and yeah I can work towards another unhaul now. <laughs> I think that's all I've got to update on because today we literally just like went to a shopping centre and that's about it. While we were at the shopping centre though, I actually came across another edition of the Night Circus which I have never seen before. It looks like this. It's not the prettiest of covers but like I said I've literally never seen this before. Apparently it's vintage who have published it but this blew my mind. I just saw the Night Circus and I was like excuse me? But what's even more confusing is the back. I have no idea what any of this has to do with the night circus. I don't remember a devil, I don't remember a rabbit, I don't remember a featherless duck. I'm very confused by this artwork and like I literally, because this confused me so much, while I was in the shop I opened the front of the book to see whether it actually was the night circus and it is. So Here's a very strange copy of the Night Circus and it was only like £2.50 so I bought it to add to my collection which is ridiculous now. It's fine, apparently this is what I do. Hi guys, I'm actually going to end this vlog here. It is now Sunday but all I'm going to be doing today is editing this vlog and catching up with booktube that I missed over the weekend so I don't have any updates. I didn't manage to read anything yesterday after all and I won't be doing any reading today because the Mythic Readathon starts tomorrow which is so exciting! So next week's weekly vlog will be the first week of the Mythic Readathon but I do have a slight change when it comes to the weekly vlogs next week because that weekly vlog will end on Friday and be uploaded really late on Friday if I can manage it because then we also have the 24 hour basically readathon happening on Saturday and I wanted to do a separate vlog for that. So that will go up on Sunday and then because I didn't want to do three vlogs in a row I'm actually uploading an extra video during the week so you're going to have videos going up today on Monday, on Wednesday, Friday and Sunday if I can manage it. <laughs> so yes there's definitely going to be a lot of content coming from me in the next few days but I am just so so excited about the Myth Take Readathon. I have actually decided to join Script and I'm really hoping that that works out for me. I know it says that you can like listen to unlimited audiobooks but I've seen a lot of people saying that they have come across restrictions with them saying that once you've listened to a few Scrid will then say that the ones that you want to listen to are unavailable until next month and I don't know. I did tweet about joining the free trial of Scribd and I think half of the people there said that they have come across restrictions whereas the other half has said that they've had no problems with it so I can't really figure out what the rhyme or reason is to it so I guess I'll just find out as I go but half of my August TBR is on there so I'm really hoping that it does work out for me and I can listen to quite a few audiobooks to speed up my reading because I do read along with them rather than just listening and I find that really works for me so I'm quite excited to try it actually. But like I said for today I'm just going to be editing this vlog and then catching up with booktube this morning. I just saw Richard off at the train station and yeah that's all that's really happened. So instead of babbling on I'm just going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give this video a like if you did enjoy it and leave a comment down below so that I know you're here. Also subscribe if you haven't already and yeah I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!